Hey all you pony fans out there, my name is Wildshire and today we're going to start a new series called Rude with Wild. In this series we're going to read My Little Pony stories and My Little Pony fanfics. Today we're going to read The Journal of the Two Sisters. It's where Celestia and Lulu take us through their lives as princesses. At the end of the book, there is a journal of friendship, but the main six tell us what they have learned. We read four entries every part. Also, these will be up every Monday and Friday. Plus, I'll leave a link in the description to the UK Amazon page to buy this book. Because in Great Britain, we can't get the book in a store, but you can in America. That's enough said. So let's get on with reading. The Journal of the Two Sisters by Amy Katie Rogers Dear Diary, my name's Celestia. Today, my sister Luna and I are to be crowned princesses of Equestria. I'm starting this journal so we can both write about amazing adventures as princesses. Well, I hope they are amazing. I don't actually know if they will be amazing. I'm assuming they will be amazing, but I guess I shouldn't assume they will be amazing because I've never been the princess of Pegasite, Unicorns and Earth Ponies. Maybe they won't be amazing. Maybe I won't be amazing. Maybe I'll be really rotten. What if I'm known as Celestia, the really rotten princess of Equestria? Okay, calm down, Celestia. You're freaking yourself out again. Take a breath. You're going to work hard like you always do, and as long as you work hard, you're going to be just fine. Okay, that's better. First of all, I just want to say that I can't even believe that Luna and I are going to be princesses. It will happen so suddenly and unexpectedly. A very unusual unicorn sorcerer who couldn't sell stuff while the bearded approached us. And when I say unusual, I'm not trying to be rude, just accurate. First of all, he came by the bearded, quite honestly, because he has the longest brown beard I've ever seen. Second of all, he wore a large wizard hat and a cloak with stars and moons pattern on the fabric. And all over the edging were bells that jingled and jangled when he walked. Let's just say that I could easily find him in a crowd. Star Swirl and his representatives. Smart Cookie of the Earth Ponies, Private Pansy of the Pegasi, and Star Swirl's apprentice, Clover the Clever of the Unicorns, told us all about the previous struggles between the Pegasi, Unicorns, and Earth Ponies. Since the tribes came to peaceful understanding and established Equestria, they wanted rulers to help uphold that peace, which was why they came to us. They knew that Alicorns stood for everything Equestria was founded upon, love, harmony, and friendship. And because Alicorns are a combination of Pegasi, Unicorns, and Earth Ponies, they believed that we could represent the citizens of Equestria in an unbiased manner. All ponies being equal in our eyes, so they asked us to be their princesses. That was really nice, but still a whole lot of pressure. I mean, Luna and I are very honoured. How can we not be? It's not every day that you ask for over an entire land. Actually, Luna and I clarified that Ron and Equestria wouldn't be his rulers. I will not think of ponies of Equestria as our subjects. That would be very awkward. We will be Equestria's guardians. That sounds much friendlier. We will serve and protect, watching over Equestria's lands and skies, keeping them peaceful and safe. I just hope I end up doing a really good job and I actually have amazing adventures to write about in this journal. Celestia. Diary. We are Luna and we are to be crowned Princess of Equestria. The what our royal diary, in which we shall write our most profound thoughts of being said princess and, oh forget it, I was going to try writing the royal cantaloupe voice, which Celestia and I learned when we were fillies. The eloquence thought it was an important part of our education, but we both thought speaking like that sounded silly. The only time we really used it was when we were playing. See, when we ran and flew in the hills of cantaloupe, we pretended we were princesses and talked in the royal we. Being all formal and haughty and stuff. But as much fun as it is to speak, writing the royal cantaloupe voice is just too exhausting. So I'm starting over. I'm Luna. This is Celestia's and my journal. Where we're going to make note of the interesting stuff that happens while we're princesses, or as it's formerly called, the array of the two sisters. Exclamation point. I'm going to write about the good stuff, the bad stuff, and hopefully some really awesome magic stuff. We should probably fall under good, bad, and awesome. Today's our official coronation. And while I was excited when Celeste and I were first approached by Star Swirl and his band of merry ponies, now that it's actually happening, I'm a little nervous. I just really hope I do a good job for Equestria as their princess. I mean, it's going to be incredible, but it's also a huge responsibility. In the end, I need to remember to be myself. And a part of that is getting to know every pony and having fun. 
I'm excited to fly with the Pegasi, get down to Earth with some Earth ponies, and whip up some spells with the unicorns. And I'm especially excited to talk to that Star Swirl the bearded guy again. I bet he's a great sorcerer, and we can really learn a lot from each other. Plus, he has the best name ever, Luna. Dear Diary, today's coronation was so lovely. Being Crown Princess of Quest Tree beside Luna almost felt like something I'd lived before, like deja vu. When Luna and I were fillies, we met tiaras at the gems we found in the hills of Cancelot. Luna was so good at finding the prettiest ones. Then we pretend we were princesses and fly about our land guiding all of our subjects, which of course were rabbits and squirrels and a turtle named Jim. So today, as Star Swirl the bearded place of crowns upon our heads, it just felt like a dream come true. Afterward, every pony enjoyed this fantastic party. The earth ponies had grown delicious food and the beds I had arranged the perfect weather. But the most magical moment came when Star Swirl stepped up with ten other unicorns. Using their unicorn magic, Star Swirl and five of the unicorns spoke as their energies and brought down the sun. Star Swirl then joined the other five unicorns and using all their concentration, he guided them in raising the moon. It was truly amazing and took a huge amount of powerful magic. Luna and I watched in complete awe. In thanks, Luna and I shot colourful lights from our horns, decorating the night sky. Every pony cheered in celebration. It was the perfect final to a most wonderful day. I don't know what I was so worried about. Everything and every pony was perfect. Celestia. Dear diary, we are now a princess. Luna. There you have it. The first part to read with Wild. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below and remember to subscribe. Join me this Friday to read the other four diary entries. But for now, this is Wild Shy signing out until this Friday. Cheerio!